we're excited that we've got another three years of funding from the Sellerfield Six to continue the fabulous work here at Longlands Lake. We've done some fantastic work, we've done some river restoration, we've stopped River Ian, breaking down banks and, and flowing into, the, into Longlands Lake. We've done some work with farmers and landowners. We've really created some fabulous habitats around the area as well. But most of all, the most fantastic thing is the amount of people that we've engaged around Longlands Lake. So one of the key objectives of the Sellerfield Six strategy is to uh, develop a sense of pride in place and the people I've talked to walking around the lake this morning absolutely love the work that's been done here at Longlands in terms of the footpaths and the accessibility. Some of us have managed to, to get our wellies on, get our gloves on, go and do a bit uh, which, has been, which has been really good and I think in terms of kind of some of our graduates coming into the business yes it's great that we take them to the workplace but we've been able to bring them out to this location to meet each other, but actually, actually to do some stuff that is visible to the community, but also is improving kind of the environmental amenity of the area. So what we're trying to do with our sustainability agenda is integrate, influence and inspire. I think what we've seen today with the kids doing their bushcraft in the forest school there is about the inspiration, but also about the integration. So when we talk to the Rivers Trust, when we talk to the community, they've all been involved in this project. And it's brilliant to see the community come together with an organisation like the Rivers Trust, funded by Sellafield and making a real difference in our community. We've had lots of volunteers out, people learning new skills, developing things to put on their CVs, young people getting involved. And the community have really come together to keep an eye on the site and make sure that it's a fantastic place for people and wildlife. The funding we've received is also going to be spent at Myra's Ponds, which the, the lessons we've learned here, we're going to be taking um, over there. So getting more community involvement and, and schools engaged. Some of the funding will also be working with schools on creating new nature parks within their schools. So that's part of a new curriculum initiative where the kids will be learning about climate change. Lots of the work that we do from an environment perspective is typically focused on the site itself. This just shows to people that, yeah, our reach extends beyond what is the site boundary and that we can have some of that positive impact outside of the fence and that people can come and enjoy this space. Is we want to make sure our sustainability agenda is recognised by our internal stakeholders, our staff, our people. And you know, this is a great example of that because you can come and walk the dog and see sustainability in action.